In this video, I'm going to weld the inner wheelhouse repair panel in place, reattach the jack point and suspension console, and finally close up the frame in the right side engine bay. I had to do quite a bit of cutting to fit this new panel in place. This covers a much larger area than I needed, so I had to trim off almost every edge to fit the shape of the opening that I've made uh, with an overlap so I can plug weld the perimeter. I had to do a little bit of finessing here to fit this in place and ended up with some lap joints and butt joints in the same area. I discovered the original jack point actually sat a bit lower on the aftermarket panel than the original. Fortunately, I found this out before welding it in place by fitting the rocker cover in place first to see where I needed to align it. So I had to change the curve in the bottom of the jack mount to conform to the bend in this new repair panel. And I had to grind away a little bit of the top of the square tubing. Moving on to the suspension console, the inside of it was pretty rough. After removing the rust, it looked like a lot of the material had uh, been taken with it. So I made a little plate to fortify the inside and welded it in this as an, as an extra brace. Again, with this aftermarket panel, the curve is just a little bit off from the original. It's enough so that the suspension console didn't fit as tight as it should. Instead of beating the panel into shape, I grinded the, a matching curve in the suspension console to seat the piece tighter to the frame. After a bit more grinding, I was able to mock it up with as minimal of a gap as I could get uh, sandwiching this new piece in between the original metal. To make sure I have extra support and reassurance here, I cut these pieces to overlap both sides to secure them together better. And now, lastly, I fabricated pieces to cap off the top side of the hell hole inside the engine compartment. I did this in three sections because of the subtle bends would be very difficult to do with this 16 gauge sheet metal. Thank you. 
with all those sections in place now, I felt comfortable enough with the frame flexing that I removed the support brace that I installed. Now onto the little passage between the engine compartment and the cabin. Here I had to figure out how to match up the overlapping top of the support that I cut out. I created this subtle bend with this piece of angle iron, as well as a gradual curved lip to match how much I had taken off. Kind of hard to explain, I guess. This isn't as perfect as I could have made it, but mainly I wanted to get these pieces butted together nicely so I could run a butt weld across the whole thing. I may clean this up a bit more later and run a full bead weld around these panels, but for now I coated with primer and I'm moving on to other things. Thanks for watching.